What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? It's Ring Bean. I'm so excited about this. It's like another porch pickup. What that means is I don't even have to leave the comfort of my own house to add games to my collection and make money. And I ain't gonna lie to you people now, I paid $200 for this slot, but I will say it is extremely justified when you see just how many consoles and games are in here. But before I can do anything, of course, I gotta go through the whole entire lot and sanitize everything like I always do. So sit back and relax. Let's do it. Alright guys, so before we start breaking everything down, I gotta say, if, if you're not a member of the official Discord server by now, I don't know what you're waiting for. It's an extremely active community with people from all over the world. We talk about retro gaming, we allow buy, sell, and trade there. If you ever had any questions when it came to buying and selling, that's the place to do it. Plus, you can also reach out to me if you've had any questions. So I'll leave a link to it in the description, as well as a pinned comment. So anyway, where to start with this slot? If you're new to the channel, what I do to make this as safe as possible is I post Facebook ads in search of, and people hit me up with items that they have. They usually throw a number at me or I'll make an offer and we go from there. After we made a deal, I'll simply ask me if you don't mind dropping it off at the porch. I can leave the money or I can PayPal you either way. And that's usually how it's done. So originally this guy wanted like 400 bucks. It was a bit high for me. We, you know, talked back and forth. I told him I am a collector as well as a reseller. That's what I do for a full-time job. And we ended up settling on $200. I was polite and courteous the whole way. So I'm not going to pull anything out in, in like an order. Is this kind of the order as I cleaned everything? This, I've never seen one of these PlayStation 1 bags. This is absolutely crazy. It looks like it used to be like some sort of backpack or something. That's inside was the console and some games. There's some cords and other stuff in here. I'm not going to take all this stuff. I didn't need to clean it. I'll let it sit uh, for a few days before I actually mess with it. The, the PlayStation 1s, they don't sell that great. But, you know, during this quarantine time, I'm sure it'll go, you know, to somebody. Here's console number one, which is a Nintendo NES, which is in pretty decent shape. All this stuff will clean up very nicely. There's no chips or dings that I see that's going to make it, you know, any less valuable than what it is. So I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm going to have to do a full refurb on this uh, that I always do. I make sure that when I put a clean game in there, it's going to power on and play first time every time. And that's what sells these units very well. Next up, we got a Model 1 Genesis, and it appears to be in good shape. Uh, let's see. Let's have the cover. Believe it or not, you people are going to think I'm absolutely nuts on this. Oh, if I can get it off. God almighty. All right. Come on now. All right, there we go. You're going to think I'm crazy, and I'm absolutely not. This will sell, and you'll be surprised for what it sells for. I take this clip off. And I take this dust cover off and I sell those separately outside of a Genesis. It's not going to hurt it. It's not going to damage it. It can still play just fine. What this is, is it's the, uh, the, the plug-in expansion for a Sega CD. Um, and it's not, you don't have to have this on here for this machine to function. I know people will be out there be like, man, how are you going to take that off and sell it separately? I'm going to be like, well, easily. Because that's how I'm going to maximize my profit with this. These sell surprisingly well. If you're really worried about this, you can cover it up. I come across many Genesis out in the wild that don't even have these. People either picked them off already, you lose them. It's, it's just how it goes. People want these to complete their systems. Next up is another Genesis. You know, obviously it was a Genesis fan. Believe it or not, this dude said he was a collector. And which, which was really shocking for the price that he gave me for everything. But, you know, we, we worked it out. We, we, we hashed it back and forth and he gave me a fantastic deal. Oh, there we go. That one came off a lot easier. You see, it's got the, the red cover. You got to sell them together. You got to have this and the, uh, the red slip cover right here. And this one comes off very easily, which is nice. Next up, the PlayStation 1. And look at that sticker. I, when I saw this from the picture, I was like, what the, what the hell is that all about? Uh, believe it or not, this thing, the, the, the uh, open button works perfectly. Usually when I get a, a PlayStation 1, uh, and this one does not have the AV outs, which if you are looking for a PlayStation, whether it's for resell or one for your collection, get the one with the AV outs. Uh, a little bit more sought after. But look at this. Look at this. I'm. That is amazing. Normally, like, you got to sit here and like tap this to, to get the button to come out. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm happy about that. Aside from this sticker, which hopefully will come off easily. I don't think anybody's going to want that with that sticker. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm happy about it. This is something I've never seen before. Look at the yellowing. 
on the actual the, the dust cover here look at this this is i've never seen that before and it kind of looks like it's been yellowed up here i don't know if that'd be caused from the sun or so, whatever that's about i've never seen it on an n64 that's just nuts inside here always open these up see if they have the expansion in them and this one does not unfortunately next up is another n6 i'm telling you i got uh, two segas playstation one nes and two n64s here uh, and this one's in a lot better shape right here. And but except, look at the, look at the dust cover. It's kind of like offset a little bit. I don't think it's going to jeopardize price or anything. But check this out. There it is. That's what you want to see for those who are not in the know. Your expansion cut your expansion packs in here are required to play certain games. And I you know again I will take this out and I will sell it separately. I actually have a bunch of aftermarket jumpers that I put in here. That way the N64 still works and maximize my profit. Now for the controllers that this came with, the, the first one, as you can see here, it is taped up. And it's taped up in like three different spots. A little tip though, is if you have a broken N64 controller, I'm talking like cracked, you know, all to hell, and you have a spare, you know, if, if the cord's good on there, open it up, desolder it and replace it in this, and that way you have a good N64 controller. This next one's in fantastic shape. Good tight stick on there, no splits in the uh, cords, which is something you always wanna see. And where would you be without the classic little brother super pad? This is the, the controller he had to use, or a friend, it didn't matter. Uh, you damn sure must believe that he's playing on the good controller. The, the, the super pad's not bad, it's just, it's, it's not ideal for me. My God, it feels, feels like it could end up in like a murder weapon in the game Clue. All right, guys, the last controller in the N64 lot is by far the best for obvious reasons here. The stick on there is in pretty good condition. No splits. I'm very happy about this one. This is going to help recoup a lot of that cost. Well, I'm way past recouping my money. Now I'm into the profit side. But don't worry, there are going to be things I get to add to my collection, which is always nice. I don't get to do that that often anymore. All right, guys, I'm not going to pull all this other stuff out of interviews. You got a, you know, a PlayStation 1 controller, a Genesis. I do like that it had the Genesis manual for the uh, Model 1, I need that to complete for one of my boxes. As well as a couple NES uh, controllers, but the, the beautiful thing is it has all the power packs for the Segas and the NES, which I'm very happy about. All right guys, now for some of the games that these consoles came with. Starting up, we got Star Wars Episode One Racer, Excite Bike 64, nice to see. WCW NWO Revenge, and I'm telling you, N64 is hot right now, that stuff is selling. Uh, Wave Race right here. Midway's greatest arcade hits while you want. I actually thought I didn't have this, uh, yeah, but it turns out I did, which is, oh, I'm so getting so close to completing the full N64 library. It's so hard for me to find a game I don't have. Uh, another copy of Wave Race, interesting to see. Nice copy of Star Fox 64. Mission Impossible. That's it for the N64 games. Nothing too crazy in there. You know, I'd love to see, you know, Smash Bros. Or believe it or not, like, you know, Super Mario 64. Look up comps right now on that and tell me if it's not insane. The Sega Genesis games we had right here. And now I'm going to tell you another good thing about the Discord server is I didn't know what the hell this was. From the pictures that I seen, I couldn't see it that well. I wasn't from, I, I couldn't really make out what any of this was. But there's a channel in there that's called in, or Identify This. I posted a picture of it. It was like instantly answered. So the people who answered this, thank you so much. But this is Jerry, I was it, Jerry Glainsville's uh, Pigskin Brawl. Uh, this is, it, it's not the most common sports game. It's actually going to sell for, well, I'd say in good condition, it would sell for a decent amount. I don't know if I'd be able to sell that for much of anything, but it was interesting to see. Classic game right here, Sonic the Hedgehog, which, I mean, if you don't see that in a Sega Genesis bundle, there's something crazy going on. Uh, the best Sega game in there, you know, at least for resale side of things, Streets of Rage. Been nice if that was complete, but it's just in by itself and there was a random cool spot box just thrown in there which you know it's nice to have extra extra cases i suppose moving on to the playstation games we have steel rain which i don't i didn't have this this will be for my collection and it looks interesting graphically for the playstation one it's actually surprising you know how decent it looks for its time i'm definitely gonna have to give that one a shot see if it's any good next up is forsaken uh, i already have this so i don't need to keep it it'll be for resale uh, all his disc games were in beautiful condition like there there are you know virtually scratchless on there and i love seeing that because you know playstation one games you can breathe on them and it just shows a whirlwind of scratches nice to see here is resident evil director's cut missing the manual which is unfortunate but again uh without the manual this will be good for resale the last playstation one game is another copy of resident evil which is which is surprising to see two in there but i'm I, i'm not going to argue uh because i'm not kidding like look at this God almighty, that looks good. And last but not least is the NES games. And we got some good stuff here. So check this out. First up, we got 
well, you know, just a basic copy of Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt, which is good. It comes with these shells. I save these when I get about four or five of them. I sell them. You can do, usually you get about 20 bucks for, uh, you know, four or five of them. I'm telling you, look at comps. You think I'm crazy, but I'm not. And it comes out to first class mail if you do it right. And you can still box them. We got, uh, what is it, Everett and Lindell in Top Player Tennis. I'm not big into collecting NES anymore. Uh, it's, it's nice to see these boxes, but, I mean, back in the day, I'd been like, oh, yeah, I got to... I gotta put that on my shelf, but I'm uh, this this one's gonna be gone. I don't think this one's gonna be worth that much, honestly. Uh, it's it's not gonna be as good as these other two you're gonna see here. We got Jackal here with some nice water damage up top, which is yeah, a little bit unfortunate. Some staining the box isn't terrible. Uh, this is complete with the manual and the game. Uh, I could put this in a plastic protector. It holds its shape a little bit better, makes the listing look a lot better. But I don't need this for my collection, so it will be uh, you know for for sale or trade. Last but not least, Metal Gear for the NES with the box. Actually, I don't even know if this is complete. Let me see this. Oof. Got some. Definitely a little bit damaged there. What we got? Oh, we got the map. No manual, but I want to say I got a manual for this that can complete it. Uh, what is this? Yeah, this, this is like the map thing that it came with. That's in pretty rough shape, though. That's all right. It'll still, it'll still sell. I'm telling you, no matter how rough something is, somebody's going to buy it. So that's it, guys. That's all I got from this lot, and I'm I'm happy about it. My God, am I happy? I got console console bundles are selling like crazy. I paid 200 bucks for this lot. Yeah, keep in mind, N64s right now are selling, you know, 80 to 100 dollars by themselves plus shipping on top. I got two of those, two Sega Genesis and NES, the stack of games, and I'm, it was a good lot. I, I'd have been stupid not to pick it up. It goes back to the old saying of scared money don't make money. If you're if you're too scared to spend that money then I'm telling you, this this may not be the game for you. So anyway, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Again, I'd love to see the finds that you get. Make sure to join up on that Discord server if you haven't already and post them there. To everybody out in this wonderful world, stay safe, take care, and enjoy the rest of your day.